So I just finished packing up this one uh, and then I realised I had an order for a pin display and then a few moments later I realised I had another one. So <laughs> that's awesome because uh, the galaxy one gets most of the love so it's really nice to see this one, this uh, sort of nice pink cloud one going as well. Um, so yeah, so I need to package those up and find some um, mailer baggies because this stick is too long for any of the standard envelopes I have so I'm gonna have to find uh, some placky ones. So yeah, I'm just gonna pack those up real quick and then take them all down to the post office together. My love, come on. Hey everyone, so I hope you're enjoying the, uh, the packaging video. Um, I thought it might be nice to do it this way because these are the kind of videos that I really enjoy. Uh, I loved seeing like how other artists package their items. Um, so what I normally do is I get one of my little trays here and I fill it up with all the bits I'm going to need. So I just grab everything to start with so I'm not getting up and down. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot this little guy. Um, it's just to make things as sort of efficient as possible. Oh yeah, and I had a lot of... Uh, I finally found out my card to print out my thank you notes because uh, I needed to do a lot more. Um, and I'm still c cutting them all out by hand. Um, I just think this is a nice way of doing it. So I like to write my customers um, just a very simple handwritten note, just saying thank you. Um, I don't know, it's just a nice thing that I like to do. Um, at some point though, I probably will have to make the switch and get them printed with like a, a message already on. Um, because it's just, it's a lot of work, um, I suppose, if I'm doing it for every order. Um, but not yet, I think I can still do handwritten ones for a while now. Uh, but I did get those plastic um, mail bags uh, and I found that I can put uh, my these um, pin displays in them just fine. I still like to put them in a paper bag though. As you can see, I kind of have to overlap too because like I've got no bags that are big enough. Um, but if I fold all the edges over, I can just squeeze them in. Um, but I still technically, I guess they don't need the paper bag. Um, but since I'm doing that for everything else, it's like it, I want everything to be, you know, matching. Um, and plus it kind of makes it feel, I think, nice when you get something and you have to sort of unwrap it. It makes it feel like a gift. Um, even though I know a lot of people uh, buy these for themselves, which is totally fine. <laughs> um, and I'm also putting in, uh, I decided to put in a little freebie badge. Because um, this design has been really popular, this uh, little... You'll, you'll see it a bunch. It's a little strawberry frog. It's really cute. Um, but it was, it's been quite popular and it's the one when I was making a lot of badges I actually made way too many. Um, so I'm using them as freebies this month. Um, but I would like to do stickers but I think if I'm gonna do that I would have to make them myself. <sighs> Otherwise they might just be a bit too expensive to be putting them in for free. Um, but yeah, that's another thing that I'm going to have to uh, think about doing. Oh yeah, and these, um, my wooden pins, my, my little original watercolour pins, these, these come and go in popularity. It's so strange. Sometimes, some weeks I'll sell a bunch of them and then other weeks absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, 
Like, I've been... The most popular thing recently has been those little pride frogs. Which I'm not... <laughs> I'm not surprised that they are adorable. Um, but I'm so glad they're selling. Because I did, I did wonder about those, whether, like... The market was like too saturated or anything but I'm, I'm so glad people think they're like really cute So that was a prize that somebody actually won when I did a, a, a winner pin on Instagram. Uh, another artist actually won it, somebody I follow as well. <laughs> um, so that was great. That This one's going all the way to the Netherlands. Um, I hope by the time I'm recording this it's actually there because uh, I, I really don't know how long it takes to get from the UK to the Netherlands. The Netherlands. <laughs> That's hard to say. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I'm wrapping up uh, this squishy frog. Now normally I would vacuum pack these, uh, but since this was a big order, the box that I'm sen sending it in is big enough for that. So I don't have to vacuum pack them. Um, <laughs> but people do find it funny because they come very flat uh, and they it distorts their face a little bit. So they look like they're horribly trapped in this plastic. <laughs> but as soon as you cut it, they, they re-poof immediately and they're absolutely fine. Oh, and Salem is here too, because he can't help himself. He's uh, supervising, which basically just means he is going to come and he's going to touch all the things that he's not supposed to touch. And he knows it. Mm, I also had a custom mug order. Um, so any of my mugs that are on my Etsy shop, you can actually have them personalised with a name or a phrase. Um, as long as I can get it to fit on. So this one's for Emma. So if you're watching Emma, hi! <laughs> I hope you liked everything in your order. <laughs> oh, and I also had another mug. Um, this one isn't... It, it, it won't be in my shop. Someone I know, their sister has a white cat, so he got her a cat, a cat mug. But then she dropped it in the sink and it smashed. So he asked me if I could make sort of like uh, another one. So I just, I just put this together. This is just a combination of images I found on Google and I changed them a bit, so... It's not like a design that's for sale and I'm not making any money on this, so it is fine. This is, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with me doing this when it's just for like, you know, someone I know. And then I'm packing up this last order. I think this was the last order on that day. Um, and I use these recycle boxes that I get from my dad. Uh, oh, and there's the frog inside the mug. So yeah, he didn't need to be flat packed. Um, so I get these boxes from my dad. Um, one, to recycle, because I want to do that as much as possible. And two, because they come with like foam padding in. So it's, yeah, it's all already there for me, already done. Oh, and of course, after I've been to the post office and came back, I had two more orders for these two. Um, so I just pack these up and put them on one side, ready for the next time. So I decided I did want to include some art in this video and not have it be just pure packaging. Uh, just so you can see what I'm working on. So I am doing a series of... I'm getting wooden pins done, but I normally have them printed with my, my traditional watercolours. But this time I decided to do some uh, digital illustrations, because I'm only getting... Uh, I'm only getting a few done, so I'm only doing four designs. So since the frog stuff has been selling so well, I was like, yep, we're doing frogs. So I decided to draw this little guy uh, and he is in uh, a pocket. Because <laughs> I just thought that would be cute with his little flippers reaching over the edge. And I gave him these cute little heart cheeks because I decided to add a heart onto the pocket. Because it, it looked a bit, you know, like bare. So I'm in Procreate and I'm using, um, this is a custom brush. Um, and I've got the pressure sensitivity taken all the way off. Um, that means when I draw, no matter how hard or lightly I press down, that line is always going to be the same thickness. So I, I like that when it comes to these really simple designs. 
because these are going to be shrunk down uh, to about an inch in size. So you want like your line work to be as simple, clean and crisp as you possibly can get it. Um, I mean, I'm still going to, you know, fuss around all the details because I'm like that. But <laughs> when it's at that size, you're not going to notice some things and then some things you will. So you, you get used to it as you design more and more. Oh, and I'm using, because these are going to be a series, I'm using all the same colours for like each design. So they kind of go together as a collection. So all the frogs are the same colour, uh, the outlines and the main portions are all the same colour. Um, and I've used sort of like the same shade of pink on like all their cheeks and stuff. So, and for this, um, for the pocket here, I do add on the stitching. And I was going to have it, because it's meant to be kind of like a denim jean pocket, but instead of doing brown thread, which I know is sort of like the traditional colour, I decided to do blue. Um, I just thought the matching look would be better. Um, and for all like the stitching on this, um, I, it took like six goes, but I've, I have edited all of that out because it, it's, it's boring. <laughs> it, it, it is boring to watch me um, try and draw these stitches out over and over again. Um, but to make so everything matches together, I decided to take the heart from the pocket and just use it as his, as his little cheek shapes. So that, just whatever I can do to make these designs as like sort of cohesive as possible with each other and with themselves. Um, so you will see the other three designs coming up in uh, my, ne my next video or videos, depending on what I'm, it depends what I'm doing. It depends how long it takes me to edit these things. So, and even though these designs are quite simple, they always, they always take me longer than they should. Always. And then I just add in these last little shiny details. And I change things around a little bit, but that's it. And there he is all done. Um, I did decide to add stitching um, onto the pink heart. Uh, it took me a while to get the colours right on that one, but I think I think it works. I think you can, you know, there's enough contrast there for them to be seen. Um, but yeah, this is so cute and I can't wait to have these printed and I'm definitely keeping one uh, for myself. So I thought I'd include um, some more packaging footage, but doing it how I would actually be doing it. Because um, when I was packaging up these past couple of weeks, I've been making sure to like you know put my camera in a nice position and have things laid out 
um, in a more, you know, like aesthetically pleasing way. Um, but this is what I normally do. This is just me sat down. I've got everything in piles behind behind my camera, and I'm just picking up what needs to be packed and just packing it in a like a, you know, sort of like a. Oh my god, what do you call it? Not a conveyor belt, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, um, and. Well, the only thing different is I usually stick the address labels on first, but since, you know, I'm filming it, I didn't want to do that. So I've just been, I write all the thank you notes first and then I write people's names on the envelopes so that when I come to put the packaging labels on, I just stick them on afterwards with the matching envelope. So that that's why I'm doing that. Um, but yeah, it was, it's been really nice recently that there's been this, you know, my Etsy orders have gone up. I've had like several just like built up over a couple of days, so I've had to... Um, like schedule some time to sit down and pack them all uh, which is really nice and I hope this keeps up but saying that today I had one one sale so I'm like oh god it's gone back down again um, but that's the thing with Etsy it just goes up and down and I can't predict it at all um, so <laughs> yeah uh, but thank you because I know some people who buy from me do watch these videos so thank you so much for that and yeah, I put these in my tote bag and get ready to go to the post office. And yes, it is the best tote bag in the world because it has tiny little penguins all over it and it is adorable. So that's it for this week. Um, yeah, because I had because I was doing a big painting uh, and packaging so many orders, I just didn't have time to edit the video last week. So that's why that we've missed a week. Um, so hopefully next time it will be my painting video. Um, but yeah, I hope this week it was just like a nice relaxing video for you to watch. Um, you'll probably not as be relaxed as Charlie is in the sun, but maybe you can get close. <laughs> so thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.